<sighs> Time to finish the M16. Got the M5 rails and the full buttstock and buffer tube. Let's do the buffer tube first. Comes with buffer spacers, which I did not know. I ordered one, but I guess I didn't need it. You just gotta take out the top screw in the back, which is what holds this, what holds the stock onto the buffer tube. It's a flathead screwdriver. This is the new buffer tube. Now, have to take the buffer spring out. And take the castle nut off. To back it up far enough so you can get the receiver end plate off, and then you can just freely twist the whole buffer assembly off. Boom! Take the new buffer assembly, just screw that on nice and tight. If you want, you could put some blue thread lock on here if you want. Thing you do slide the new buffer tube on or uh, stock onto the new buffer tube and then that screw back here if I can show you just tighten that screw back up nice and Make sure the sling attachment point is secure, which is the bottom screw. Boom. And then, I'm gonna try it. This is a WE reinforced high strength buffer, buffer for WA, M4, pretty much any gas blowback M4 would use this buffer spacer. Um, it does include buffer spacers. These black ones, they come in varying heights, uh, but this one I believe should just be right amount. So just stick it in there. Put the buffer Buffer spring back in. Close it up. Now make sure that you have the right spacing. You want to pull. See? That's too much. Now the bolt lock won't work. I'm holding down the bolt lock or the bolt catch. So I got This one doesn't work. So, take it out. Got to push on the buffer spring a little bit. Get my pliers out, maybe that'll help. Yeah. This one's way too long. I'm going to start off 
with, let's see. They have a thin one and they have, so here's a thin one. And then they have two thick ones. I'm gonna try one of these thick ones first. Stick that in there. Buffer or buffer spring. Stick the buffer. That's good. So now, if I hold the buffer lock down, hold up the handle. Boom. It locks back. So that. Should be good enough. Now, let's get this stuff out of the way. Next is the rails. Now, these were WE M16 A3 rail covers or uh, hand guards. Those needed modification to fit. New rail covers or rails do require technically do require some modification. You need to replace the stock round plate here with this more triangular one right there. So get this off. Plate. This comes in two parts. up a little bit. Let's see if I can bring this back some more. Bring that a little bit. So I'm just gonna knock these pins out. Actually should probably take this uh, sling swivel adapter off. Just two roll pins, this block. Just turn the rifle over. Let's just pull it right off. Now, push the pins out. Now these pins usually aren't on that strong, so they should come out pretty easily. Or they should come out easily. There's one. There's two. Just gotta undo this set screw that's down here. It's on pretty tight. And hopefully don't strip this. Nope. Oh, shit. There we go. 
You don't have to take the screw all the way out. You just gotta back it off a little bit. So, uh, take off the flash hider. And then you just put on the new retaining plate or whatever it's called. Put the front side post back on. One pin, where's the other? Make sure the alignment is good. Should be good. Alright. Once you got the alignment set, tighten this set screw back down. You want to torque it down, but you don't want to do it too tight where you might strip it. Uh, unless if you actually plan on using iron sights to actually play airsoft, then maybe you want to torque it down a lot. Right. We could put the washers back on and the washer uh, protector, put on the flash hider, now, next thing you gotta do before you put the plates on, this is the bottom one, the top one is gonna have at the back this allen key. If I can find the right size. You don't want to, I personally undo it out all the way. Just makes things a little easier. Now this Allen key is important, or this Allen screw, because it actuates these little prongs which here, which, inside of the top of the barrel nut. Now it grips inside the groove so it allows it to be more secure and tight. So. Now if you're using a mock gas tube or a fake gas tube, you put that in now. You want to make sure that the hole is lined up with the hole for the gas tube. I don't currently have a gas tube that's long enough. So what you do just like the plastic ones, you go in at an angle, like so, and then pull on the delta ring and drop it in. Now it's important, if I can show you somehow, then we drop it in that those two prongs I showed you are in the downward position. So it can go underneath, if I can get this on film, it goes underneath 
these barrel nuts. Yeah, you can't really see that, but it's underneath the barrel nut. So then, when you put the Allen key back in, or the Allen screw, it will clamp it up in to the barrel nut to give you very good positive retention. Now, you don't have to do this up insanely tight, just tight enough. Bottom rails, don't have to do anything special. This is the front, like I did with the top, angle it in to that plate. Pull the D-ring back. Now it should lock in. Sometimes you gotta really push it forward. Fully seated, it's not coming out. So this is the M16 A4. Everything is lined up. There's a little bit of wobble. Um, that's mainly due because I don't have a gas tube in and the gas tube would hold this retaining plate centered and tight up against the gas block. But since I don't have it, there's a little bit of play, about a millimeter or two of play from center top to left. But other than that, it's finally good. I have an M16A4. Should be the last part of the actual M16A4 build. The only thing that's up next is uh, scopes and accessories, and that's all. Uh, that's all based on personal preference. This is an AK47. He's capable of like 30 borks per hour right you're gonna bork 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 boof boof Wah. yeah he's a devastating little uh menace he is deadlier than an ar-47 he has fully automatic clips and a fully semi-automatic capability right he is illegal in all 53 states of the united states of america yeah? Alright. Down you go.